The whole point of this entire story is to date our professor and so we are turning this into a coffee date. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys and welcome back to the next part of Prosecutee on episode. To email or not to email? That is the question. Hmm, not yet. I need to try Smith's advice first. Look at the big picture. What is the big picture? All of these cases and laws and his deep probing eyes and perfect lips. Hey, uh, there you are, doing exactly what I expected you to be doing. Are you having a hard time with this essay as I am? I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I start. What seems to be the problem? I'm supposed to be looking at the big picture, but all I can see are little dots. Big picture, huh? Ugh, feels like the room is caving in on me. I know you're not going to believe me, but I know exactly what you need. You're right. I'm not sure I'm going to believe you. What do you say we get out of here? And go where? To nature. Away from the books. The campus. These flats. Aren't you craving some fresh air? I'm starting to forget what fresh air feels like. That would be nice. So, I have this really cool spot on the coast. It's beautiful and peaceful and it always makes me feel better. You own it? As of a few months ago, you'd be the first person I've shown it to. Why me? Because I think you'll love it. You deserve a change of scenery and it might help you with your essay. Wanna go? Heck yes. Checking out Tyler's secret spot will be just the relief I need right now. Escape with Tyler for 35 gems. Yes, we are gonna do this. It sounds amazing, so relaxing, and I think it's what we need right now. How far is it? Only 30 minutes drive. My car is parked right outside. It might be exactly what I need. I'd love to see this special spot of yours, Tyler. I thought you'd never ask. Oh wow, this is gorgeous out here. Told you so. Look at this coastline. All of those clouds in the sky. All of those trees. Wow, beautiful trees. <laughs> Splash. OMG, is that an otter? There are loads of them out here. They love to chill in the cove. Oh, the wind feels so nice. And the sun on my face. Kind of washes all that stress away, doesn't it? And you know, it's a lighthouse. A lighthouse is always scanning the horizon, taking in the big picture. Am I right? Yes, it's very metaphorical, Tyler. I tried my best. How did you find this place? Oh, uh, I own it. You own a lighthouse? Yep, and my family owns that big house down the shore, and that slightly smaller one after that, and that one after that too. It's been in the family for generations. My dad wanted to tear the lighthouse down to build a bank. I bought the property from under his nose using some inheritance I got from my grandma. As mad as he is, he can't do anything to the property now. Money is about the only thing my dad respects. Well, you saved a beautiful spot, Tyler. I want to turn it into an ocean animal refuge too. Keep those otters happy out there. It's definitely a refuge for me whenever I need some peace and quiet. Well, now I want to come out here all the time. Just ask me whenever you want. We could even stay a weekend sometime. Tyler? With Jen and other friends. There are like 30 bedrooms in this big house. It could be a big study weekend. Romance optional. That would actually be fantastic. This school, this whole area, it's such a huge part of your life for better or worse. It took a lot of long hours at the office and numerous neglected children to afford this place. Oh, Tyler. All I'm saying is everything comes with a cost and I'm not sure I want to make the same sacrifices my parents made. You just have to find your own way. Exactly. I must find the Tyler way to get a large coastal estate without being a hotshot lawyer. Now, Harper, I know you're all serious and passionate about law, but after you fought justice and won some cases and you've had a little extra cash, what would be the reward you'd want to give to yourself? Hmm, an escape home like this. Long and exciting vacations or great clothes and a fancy car. I would absolutely love a holiday home. That sounds great. Something like this would be perfect. A little piece of paradise that I could run off to and just breathe. Your own private refuge. Exactly. See, that is the big picture you should focus on. I don't think that's what Smith had in mind. No, he's too much of a stiff, serious, arrogant jerk. Tyler? Sorry, not a fan. He's just tough. You're too generous. But I think I understand the essay now. Smith doesn't want us looking at the bigger picture legally. He wants us to look at where the law fits into the rest of the world and just being away from the bubble of school. It puts everything into perspective. That's what I need to focus on in the essay. Brilliant. Can you write mine too? Tyler, I know you like to pretend like you don't care and that you're not that smart, but I think it's an act. I think you're trying to hide your brilliance and I think you care more about this than you let on. Oh, you do, do you? I do. 
Well, if you're gonna keep saying nice things like that, then fine. I'll write my own dang essay. Thanks for bringing me out here, Tyler. Anytime you wanna come out here, just let me know. You're awesome. I know. Hey, let me give you a quick tour of the house before we go back. Yes, please. At my desk. I wrote non-stop for two hours. All of the readings seemed to be coming together, and I felt pretty good about what I'd written. I think it's what Smith wanted. I think. I knew I could just turn it in and wait to see his comments, but he did give me his email, and he did tell me to use it. Would there be any harm in running it by him and seeing what he thought? For some reason, my heart was racing. Dear Professor Smith, thanks again for offering your help today. I have a draft of my essay and I was wondering if I could run it by you. Best wishes, Harper Jones. Send. He probably won't even reply tonight. It's already 11 p.m. I guess I should just get ready for bed. Phone pings. Oh, he replied. One new email. Hi, Harper. I see you wasted no time. I'd be happy to take a look at your draft. It's probably best if we can meet face to face to discuss it. Come to my office tomorrow at 1 p.m. Don't stay up too late. Smith. A one-on-one -on -one meeting with Smith tomorrow. I could hardly contain myself. The email sounded so unlike him. Don't stay up too late. It was enough to give me butterflies. And enough to keep me awake all night. The next day. Oh girl, we'd be jogging. We'd be getting healthy. This exercise will do you good. Instead of being boxed up all day at that desk. Not worth it. I only came out with you so we could wear our matching outfits. We do look amazing. Hey, do you want to grab a pizza after? What, and pile on all the calories we just burnt? I don't think so. Oh, so now you care about your health. Yeah, and besides, I have a meeting with Smith. Whoa, 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 back up. Hold the phone. Tell me everything every detail. Well, he offered to help if I wanted it, and I emailed him and asked if he would take a look at my essay. You are my idol. I'm impressed with how far you've come. Now I get why you've been studying like a maniac. Shut up. Come on. Admit he's the most beautiful man you've ever laid your eyes on. Don't you have a boyfriend? I don't see what that has to do with anything. What are you gonna wear? It's not a freaking date. It is if you want it to be. What do you mean? If you go past a coffee shop on your way and get two coffees to go, you can have them in his office, together. And ta-da, it's a coffee date. Oh my gosh, Jen, you're terrible. Seriously, think about it. Stop it. This is a purely academic meeting. Besides, I don't even know if he's single. And there are definitely rules against professors dating students. And how do you feel about breaking those rules? I am running away from this conversation. Unfair advantage. Get out of here, you stalker. Definitely not. I need to approve of your date outfit. It's not a date. Well, not with that attitude. Seriously though, what are you gonna wear? I have something new in mind. Let's see then. How do you look so studious at the same time as showing off your amazing legs? You look like a goddess. I'm so lucky to have such a beautiful best friend. Thanks, Jen. I'm lucky to have you too, of course. And I mean, if anyone stands a chance at landing a professor, it would be you. I swear, half the guys are always checking you out in your lectures. I know Tyler can barely keep his eyes off you. Firstly, you're delusional. Secondly, Tyler's just a friend. I'm not trying to land a professor. I just want to pass this semester. It's not delusional, it's called optimism. I still think you should convert this meeting into a coffee date. Heck yeah, oh no, this is strictly professional. The whole point of this entire story is to date our professor and so we are turning this into a coffee date. Fine, I'll pick up a couple of coffees on the way, but I'm only doing this because I need a caffeine fix myself right now. Yay, I know you secretly want to. She's right. Go and have fun on your coffee date. See you later. I headed to the coffee shop, mainly fueled off Jen's excitement rather than my own. This is a stupid idea. Why did I listen to Jen? At best, I thought this could at least get me on Smith's nice side for the duration of the meeting. At worst, he'll think I was totally into him and wanted to have his future babies. I have nothing to lose. 12.55. PM. I knocked on the door of Mr. Smith's office. The butterflies in my stomach were building up. I was about to spend one-on-one -on -one time with Mr. Smith. No answer. I'm five minutes early, I'll just hang around. 1 PM. Still no answer. The door is locked. He's not even in. I got more and more nervous as I continued to wait. 1 10 PM. And wait. 1.20 p.m. He's not coming. Smith has stood me up to this meeting. I can't believe I even got his coffee. Looks like I never managed to win him over after all. Harper, I don't know if you're going to like this. What's Smith afraid to tell you? Find out in the next episode. Anyway, guys, that is where today's part has ended. If you guys did enjoy it, do make sure to leave a like. Here is the comment of the day, and I will see you in the next one.